Hi, it's Tina again today, and I wanted to show you a technique using alcohol inks in your art journals. So what you'll need is some plastic wrap and your art journal. Uh, this is an old vintage art journal that I have, and I actually use it when I'm creating jelly plate backgrounds. I use the art journal as my rub-off for my brayer, and it, it's fun because it starts to create really nice backgrounds in my art journal pages. So I thought it would be fun to use this technique on one of those pages. So take your plastic wrap, <clears throat> take your alcohol ink, I'm going to start with red, and just drop some alcohol ink into your plastic wrap and fold the plastic wrap over and swish the alcohol ink around. And then start placing that alcohol ink onto your page. And this technique creates kind of unique, different shaped backgrounds because again the plastic wrap has creases and folds in it so when you place that down on your paper no two shapes are the same, so it creates a really fun, random pattern to the background of your art journals. So now I'm going to use a different color. So I just folded the plastic wrap over on itself. And I'm going to use blue, and I did the same thing. Fold the plastic wrap over, smush it around, and then unfold it and start dabbing it onto my page. Then I decided to uh, do the other side of my art journal page. I originally was not going to, so I thought it would be fun to do both sides of it. So using the same technique, I'm using some of the red alcohol ink and applying it with the plastic wrap. Now I'm going to use some of the blue. This technique also works really well with spray mists. You can spray the mist into the plastic wrap and use the same process to apply the spray mist to your pages. So now I'm going to take some of the tissue paper that was in the June kit and I had cut out just one of the shapes and I'm going to apply it to one of the art journal pages. So I'm coating the bottom of the art journal page with some gesso. And then I'm going to coat the top of the tissue paper with gesso. And originally I thought the gesso would hold down, hold the paper down to the page, but it's not holding it like I want. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some matte medium on top of the gesso on my art journal page, and that will adhere the tissue paper down. And then I'm going to put some of the matte medium on top of my tissue paper and then it will be adhered to my art journal page. And now I'm going to take another one of my cutout tissue papers from the kit and I'm going to put a piece of it on the other side of my art journal page. Again using matte medium at the bottom and applying matte medium to the top. And you can see I'm not real picky when it comes to putting this down. I like the creases and uh, bumps that you get with tissue paper and you can see me even ripping it off and it's not ripping it evenly but I like that uh, uneven and totally random look. And then I'm going to put some gesso on top of it. <clears throat> and then I actually decided that um, I'm going to cover the whole art journal page up. It wasn't really looking like I wanted it to so I'm going to put a coat of gesso atop both pages of my art journal. What's fun about that is you can still see some of the alcohol ink splatters that I've created in the background underneath the gesso, but it becomes more of a subtle background now. So I'm drying that completely before I apply the next step.
So now I'm going to actually do more of that alcohol ink technique with the plastic wrap. So I just got me a clean sheet of plastic wrap. <clears throat> I'm going to start with some blue alcohol ink and the same process, fold it over, smush it around, and then unfold it and apply it to my page. So now I've created layers and depth to my art journal page by coating it with the original layer with gesso. Need some more blue. <clears throat> and now I'm going to add some red. I would imagine um, you could use this technique with paints as well as, lo as long as they were watered down a little bit. Um, so that might be a, a fun look too with some opaque. It wouldn't be as transparent as alcohol ink or spray mist would be. It would be more opaque. So now I have my background. So I had previously cut out the girls from the cover of the pattern paper that came in the kit. I thought they would be fun to incorporate into my art journal page. So I cut both of the girls out and then I'm taking the wooden letters that were included in the kit and randomly placing them on one side of my art journal page. I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do with them yet, but I thought that would be a fun uh, look to the one side. So now I'm just applying gesso on top of each of the wooden letters. And I'm putting a little bit of gesso underneath of it and that will act a little bit as glue. Once it's dry, the wooden letter should stay on top of the paper. And you can see again, I'm not being real specific or picky in applying the gesso. I'm doing it very messy and very random. And I've actually begun to think of a theme for my art journal page um, and thinking about a quote that I want to use for my page when it's completed. Just about the randomness of life and and all that. So now I'm going to attach the cutout girls with some matte medium. I'm going to go ahead and attach those to the page. And if you could see, I, I usually have my gesso and my matte medium handy pretty much at all times. Those are my two go-to items that I use on almost every mixed media project. So now I'm just dotting each one of the wooden letters with some green alcohol ink. And I kind of like how that looks when it applies to the wooden letter. It just starts seeping in and creates this random look to each letter. I don't fill each letter in. I like that some of the letters are missing sections of them. So I decided that's all I was going to put on that page. But then I wanted to spread it out a little bit. So um, I used some of the alcohol ink um, mixative and just, again, applied it to each letter just so the alcohol ink spread out a little bit. And I'm doing the same thing on this side of the art journal page. I put some of the alcohol ink on the page and then I used the alcohol. Um, just a second. the alcohol mixative to let it drip down the page some more. And 
and then I'm drying the whole thing. Now I'm going to take some gesso and just apply it over each one of the girls to tone down the look of them. I really didn't want their specific face or clothes to appear on the page, but I wanted the silhouette of them. So I'm applying gesso just to get the outline of the shape of the two girls. And then I'm dabbing some of that off again to get some of that look from behind the gesso so it's not completely white. So I'm just dabbing off some of the gesso. So now that the gesso is dry, I'm using Faber-Castell India ink pens, the big pit pens, to start shading the shape of the girls to add some depth and dimension to the silhouette. Um, these are some of my favorite um, products to use. So you can just see me again totally doing a random, not being real careful about what I'm doing. I'm going around the outside of the shape, the silhouette, and just blending it with my finger. And I always start light to dark so I start with the lightest shade and go dark when I'm using this technique. Now I'm just getting some other greens and yellows to use. So again, this one I'm actually using on the outside. When I used the previous color, I was shading on the inside of the silhouette. So I'm using this darker shade to shade the outside of the silhouette to, again, add more depth and dimension there. So you can see me going on the outside edge and using my finger just to blend it. Now I'm going to go back on the inside again, so a darker yellow than the previous one that I used. And just, again, applying some and shading it. So when you get these multiple colors mixed in together, that's where you really start to create the texture. So this is the quote that I'm going to use on my art journal page. I had just typed it out on my typewriter. So now I'm just cutting out the strips of the words to figure out where I'm going to place them on my art journal page.
So I've decided that I want to add more green to the silhouette. So I'm going to come in and shade some with a, a another shade of green. And I'm going to fill in the white space. And then I'm going to wipe some of that off again. And then with the darker green, I'm going to apply some more shading in certain areas, not completely around the entire silhouette. And I'm placing the quote back on the silhouette. Before I apply the quote with matte medium, I'm going to go ahead and outline the silhouette with one of my doodling pens. And this will just further define the silhouette on my art journal page. So now I can go ahead and apply the quote to my page. And then I'm going to let the quote dry and once it is dry, the matte medium is dry, I'm going to take my doodling pen and just outline each one of the strips of words and then my art journal page will be completed. And that's all I have today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching.